In this video, I'm going to show you the exact sales pitch line by line that I use to close clients from anywhere between three and a half grand to eight grand plus. And most people try to pitch AI like it's magic, but obviously it's not. You got to make it tangible, obviously very valuable, a clear outcome and something to say yes to. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the pitch pitch line by line give you some sales tips along the way that you can steal and use for yourself and show you how to actually sound like you know what you're doing on a sales call but before we dive into it i need you all to have a shift in mindset to understand what you're actually selling it's not just automations you're selling an outcome a result wrapped in something that looks and feels like a product which is why i use my SaaS approach that i talked about a couple videos back and i've talked about a few times on my channel a clean front-end app clear result and clear value so now that you got that in your head let's break the page down so we're going to the sales masterclass section sales script i've got it in here but you can also just download it now this is actually the exact one that i use i pull this up for every single sales call obviously it says calling leads here but um you can just sort of incorporate this into your own uh conversation if you're on a meeting or whatever it is so hey this is just ben with centrix automations it looks like we booked in this meeting about possibly make sure you're um you know putting some emphasis on this there's a lot to be said about tonality when it comes to sales conversations, you know, if you're watching a film, for example, let's say you're watching Wolf of Wall Street, and if they just, Leonardo DiCaprio just spoke with a monotone accent the whole time, it wouldn't be a very good film, would it? You have to adapt your tone to the type of conversation and the type of questions that you're asking. So possibly get some outside help with using AI to automate your outreach to land leads on to land your leads and clients on autopilot right They'll go, yeah yeah okay yeah that's what i agree to so anyway let's say you're on a call your first call with a client um you want to do a bit of the small talk you know where are you based stuff like that i mean it, it's not ideal but i suppose it just especially if they're cold and they're on a call you want to just sort of smile be polite that obviously you would be like that anyway um, it's, it's certainly in my nature to be like that itself but you want to just you know break the ice a little bit um, smile let them know you're friendly do you know what I mean stuff like that and you know, alert I suppose we've only got half an hour to get into this but um, so, so I suppose it probably makes sense to to crack on would that help you if we if we just cracked on yeah yeah let's do it so I suppose first question is what was it about that email that actually attracted your attention now here the reason you say this is because you're going to get an understanding of what exactly is thereafter now you're gonna you're gonna really you know let's just say they replied to your email saying sure I'm interested you don't really know what they're interested in exactly so um, this will just give you a really good idea of what it is they're actually hoping to get from the call, I suppose. You go, oh, okay, that makes sense. Right, well, this call's pretty basic. It's just for us to find out more about what you're doing now in terms of your outreach and generating leads compared to possibly, again, compared to possibly what you're wanting just to see what that gap looks like and use your hands. See where you're at now to possibly where you're wanting to be just to see where that gap looks like just to see if we could even help you in the first place or just to see how much we could help you and then towards the end of the call if you feel like it might be what you're looking for we can talk about possible next steps would that help you sounds good let's get into it um sometimes they'll just start talking right now because you've already said you know what you're doing now and they'll just start going into it and just say oh Two seconds, mate. If you don't mind shutting up for a second, I'm joking. You don't say that. Um, you'll just go into the questions to understand exactly. I talk, talked about this in a previous video. Um, you want to know where they're currently at, what they've been doing previously, you know, past situation, present situation. What, what, what is their situation at the moment? So what have you got in place to generate leads? Obviously, this is if you're selling a lead generation system. Hands up um, for that. But if... if um, if you're selling anything else, a proposal generator, how long is it? What, what have you got now in terms of creating proposals or how long does it take you to, to create your proposals or 
let's say it's a LinkedIn automation. So have you tried LinkedIn outreach before? How did it work? Did there stuff like that, you know? So what have you got in place at the moment to automate your LinkedIn outreach, whatever it is, uh, or to do your LinkedIn outreach? Now, remember this answer. I think that's why I've put answer one there is because you want to remember it so you can plug it in again down here. And then just ask, you know, how long you've been doing that? Okay, anything else? Any other strategies you have at the moment for lead gen? Um, what's the word? Any other ways you get leads in? Stuff like that. And you've got a pretty good understanding now. And now the next question is pretty much, do you feel like you're happy with those results? And most of the time they'll be like, well, no, obviously, because that's why we're on the call, but don't get taken back by it. Don't think it's a stupid question. It's not. It's to get them suddenly thinking that, okay, they're not happy. That's why they're on the call. It's to reinforce the reason they're actually on that call in the first place. Okay. So by, let's say they said, um, word of mouth and just referrals as a whole. So by, you know, getting those referrals, do you feel like you're, you're happy with those results in a curious tone? So sort of. Uh, increase the tone as the sentence goes on. Do you feel like you're happy with the results that you're getting? They'll probably say, they'll either say yes, no, or it could be better, really. And if they say yes, you'll be like, oh, okay, so do, do you actually want to change anything then? Don't be, it's easy to say this in sort of a salesy tone. Well, what, what are we doing then? Do you want to change anything? It's not like that. It's, do you, oh, okay, well, do you actually want to change anything then? It puts you in a sort of position of authority as well to say that your time is not to be wasted here. You've got plenty of other clients who need your help. So that's sort of a reason as well why you'd ask that. Next set of questions. Um, you want to make sure obviously you remember answer two so you can plug it in here. Do you feel like you're happy? Have you been looking for anything that will increase your pipeline? allow you to close more sales, are you looking at anything that will book you more meetings, et cetera, et cetera. Have you, have you even looked into AI much? If they say, oh, yes, but we, we didn't actually end up getting set up with anyone, you can say, okay, what, what prevented you then from, from going further? And there's your objection later on. That was their objection for whoever they spoke to before. And you can prepare yourself for that objection if it was to come to you later on as well. But if they did do something if they did find something and they did do something oh, okay what did you do and and how did it work how did it what and you just want to sort of be getting a an idea for exactly what they've done in the past here right now this is a really obvious question again probably the most obvious response you're going to get is do bear shit in the woods or is the pope catholic if you had a system in place that could automate your outreach and actually consistently be generating your leads how would you think that's going to impact the business well obviously it's going to impact it in a good way so again they might be being a bit like they might be brushing off the question again that's probably because of your tonality but also it's still reinforcing in their own mind subconsciously that your system's probably going to work for them. And now it's a sort of like a consequence question. So you've brought them up and now what you're planning to do is bring them back down, back down to earth, make them realize what it is their, their situation is now and what it's going to be like if they don't actually take your solution. So what if you don't do anything to improve your lead, Jen? and your situation stays the same or hand on heart, God forbid this happens, gets worse. Well, we'll probably, you know, well, our Q2 numbers uh, might go down. Our uh, CEO won't be happy. Our funders won't be happy. Funders, is that a word? The people who fund them, I don't know, won't be happy, da, 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 won't hit our targets, which won't look good. And that's such sort of stuff they'll come out with. And if you thought about what might happen if your outreach continues to yield the same results, this is obviously they are getting pretty bad results or mediocre results. If you thought about what, what might happen, you probably wouldn't ask them both, choose one. And sometimes they can get a bit hesitant, right? They can be a bit wishy-washy, so to speak. Especially if your tonality is off here, they're going to sort of just give surface level answers. But if you're really, you know, if you're leaning in, hand on chin, bit of a frown at like you listen well you are listening but at like care which you still you do care <laughs> so it's not even though i'm saying at like you care 
it's not exactly what I mean. <laughs> you still should care because at the end of the day, you are in a great position here to help these people. And if they don't need help in, they don't need help in. It doesn't mean you then push it on them. Do you know your service can help them? Absolutely it can. You've done it. You've sold it to clients before. If you haven't sold it to clients before, you've watched me sell it to clients before. And I'm telling you now how much this sort of system can help people. But it's about having them understand that the grass is greener um, most of the time. But sometimes it's not. And that's absolutely okay. So are you, are you okay with settling the results you're currently getting? Or do you think it makes sense to stay in this position when you actually do have the option to change it? Again, you've got you, you sort of treading on eggshells here. Don't go in how you normally would ask the question. It's got to be a bit like you you know you're on eggshells like ask this question with caution and to be honest that's pretty much it that's all i ask now it seems like that's quite short but sometimes a question they give you will lead on to another question and these conversations even with this script can last 45 minutes so it's all about asking the right questions at the right time and most of the time you need a structure and this is what I give a nice structure questions to ask and understanding for which then once you've had that conversation you understand where they are what they potentially might want then you go into the pitch and the demo and everything like that right so I'd say oh based on what we discussed I think what we do could again really important to say it in a sort of uh like a potential tone of voice i thought what we could do what we do could really help you it's given me a better understanding of where you are now and the challenges you're facing compared to maybe where you want to be so if it's all right with you is what i'd probably say now if it's all right with you i'll just show you the system now I'll walk you through how it works and how we'd actually tailor this and bespoke it to your business would that help you i say yeah okay let's see it let's do it and then I always have it here set up already. This is my demo. This is something I've set up for someone else. This was actually a recruitment firm. So I just took away their logo, a couple of their colors as well. And I've just got this here. And it sort of shows different aspects of how they could do it. They could literally have their own ICP search and configuration this side. Or they could have just the normal lead generation, which this side is the normal selling point for um, that, I, that I help businesses with. And... I say, okay, this is what you'll get. All you have to do, two minutes of your time. You go into Apollo, you do a search, you take the URL at the top and you just whack it in here. And then most of our clients use instantly AI, but some use smart lead or some like the leads to go into Google Sheets. This is just where the leads are going to end up. So essentially, if you were to use instantly AI, are you aware of instantly AI? The email sending tool, amazing. Um, what you do is put in the campaign ID where you want these leads to end up and whack it in there. 10 seconds and then sometimes i'm sure you're aware with apollo the industry isn't always perfect it sometimes misinterprets the the industry and comes out completely wrong so we just want to do a check in there just to make sure we're actually sending to the right targeted list and all you have to do is press start automation that's it, two minutes of your time. In the back end, what we're doing now is we're scraping every single lead. We're finding their emails. We're verifying those emails. We're researching the prospect. We're creating a highly tailored, bespoke and follow-up email and subject line tailored to this specific prospect. And then it's adding that into instantly. Completely done for you. No more researching prospects. No more spending a load of money on scrapers and email finders. No more paying Indians to do all the leads for you. It is all done by you. You put it into this app and in the output, you've got a load of hyper-personalized emails that get ready to send out. And then I actually go into Instantly and I show them a demo um, campaign that I've got with just a couple of leads in there. But it shows the variables, how it all works. In fact, I'll just show you. 
So I'll come in and I'll show him this one, which is a proof of concept that I'm doing for someone already. I only sent 2000, but it's got a reply rate of 3.7%, which is actually going to be one of the lowest I've ever had on this come in on a highly personalized campaign with a positive reply rate of 31.2% and 24 opportunities, which according to this is 72,000, but it's a lot more than that. Only 2000 emails sent. Right, imagine doing this for 10,000 people and that's what I say to them. I go into sequences um, and I show them how this person wanted it. I go into here and I show them the email and how hyper-personalized is it. I go on about the benefits and the features in terms of, you know, if he, each email is different, then you're less likely to land in spam people are more likely to respond because they feel like it's been tailored and bespoke to them it will stand out in a sea of emails of just generic sequenced blasted out spam emails whereas this is hyper personalized it looks like it's been bespoke and tailored to that specific person i'll also show the follow-up email the final email i'll go into this one which is the demo one which has the subject line the personaliza personalization um, a lot sm shorter, you know, I'd sort of just give them a few variations of how it can actually be done um, from my experience in cold email, what works best, etc, etc. Again, you can have the follow up email in there. That and a, four, a third one and a fourth one as well. And this just helps them understand exactly sort of that it can be changed, you know, it's exact. We, we do it bespoke to them exactly how what their best social proof is what their value is if they want the personalization in there obviously with our um with my expertise and speciality in it i'll help them through it but um i just sort of show them exactly how it could be done and then i'll stop sharing my screen i'll come up here and i'll go so what do you think <laughs> any questions and they'll probably come to me with a few questions and because i'm fairly knowledgeable on it because obviously it's my own service and product and I can handle those objections quite well and we'll just continuously ask questions, handle objections. And then when it comes to it, if it is a one call close and you feel like you're getting them above the buying line and you've built that emotional gap, you can say to them, Hey, so come on, what, what honest thoughts. And in all honesty, I want you to actually rip it. And again, by rip it, I mean, you know, I want you to trash it. I want you to say bad things about it. If they don't have any bad things, amazing if they do again it's going to be an objection that you can handle with again straight away and then if you're confident enough and you feel like you've got them above the buying line well i shouldn't say if you're confident enough if you've got them above the buying line you should then be asking for some kind of payment or they'll ask what the pricing is and you'll tell them straight away this is how much i charge um most people pay it back within 30 days which is true if obviously not if they're low ticket if they're mid to high ticket they'll pay it back within 30 days and that's pretty much it if you want the full pitch script the cold email prompts and even generic ones that get me meetings it's all inside my community my school community there's people in there that are landing their first clients booking a hell of a load of meetings using the systems i give them and also hopefully the pitch so i'm not just teaching about automations and the systems you should be selling and giving people blueprints i'm actually teaching people how to make real money from this so if this has helped drop it a like drop me a comment if you have any questions about anything subscribe if you want more real no fluff ai automation agency knowledge if, and if you want to see the whole pitch and how to deliver it like a pro join the community and i'll show you everything see you in the next one